the cockpit. It's the Tom Likas Show. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? And now, and now here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. I dot our toll-free telephone number. You got to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. Now, uh, we do not discuss politics on this show, and I know you don't vote and you don't give a rat's ass if you are tuned in here. You don't. I know. And so we don't waste your time with any of that stuff like you see on CNN or the Fox News Channel. We're just not one of those shows. The result is we are the number one radio program in Los Angeles. The only thing that beat us, by the way, the ratings came out today, the only thing that beat us in the fall was the radio station uh, Coast that played nothing but Christmas music for like six weeks. How do you beat that? All right. But we beat everybody else. We beat all the talk radio competition by a mile. I, I, and I will have actual numbers for you, but um, we beat them by a mile. And that's because we don't spend our time talking about whether David Westerfield should get the death penalty. We don't spend our time talking about who the new House majority leader is going to be, Senate majority leader. We don't care. We don't care over here. We know you don't care. You don't have to worry about ever tuning in and hearing some big debate about, you know, whether the Democrats could take control of the House of Representatives in 2004. We don't care. We, we're not involved in that. Call your grandparents, ask them if you care, okay? But don't call here, because we're not getting into it. But uh, one thing I do for you as a service on the Tom Likas Show, as you should know, we save you the drudgery of reading a newspaper. We know how many of you don't read. The younger you are, the less likely it is that you do read. And if you're female, if you have ovaries, you are highly unlikely to read until the last egg is dropped, somewhere around between 45 and 50. We know you don't bother reading the paper. You don't know what's going on. We know. So as a service of the Tom Likas show, I take it upon myself to read the newspaper, eliminate all the crap you don't care about, and get right down to the stuff you do care about. Now, some of you may have heard rumors, maybe you haven't heard, that the economy stinks. And uh, the stock market has been down three years in a row for the first time in 50 years. Now, you may know that because you have an IRA or a 401k or a Roth IRA or one of those retirement plans at work that you never pay any attention to. They just take money out of your paycheck. You don't even know what uh, what they're doing with it. Uh, look, I know, uh, believe me, I know the listeners to this show. <laughs> I know. Okay. So uh, if you ever, like, open one of the statements that you usually toss aside or throw in the garbage, if you ever actually opened a statement, you might see you've been losing money now for years. And so, um, and again, I'm sure you didn't read this in the paper, so I'll be the first to tell it to you. The president who has been presiding over the economy that's going down the drain. He finally um, is proposing a large tax cut, hoping to improve the economy. And this would cut taxes by a total of $674 billion over a 10-year period. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of it. I'm not even going to get into Republicans and Democrats and liberals and conservatives. I don't care. You don't care. I don't care. Okay. And even if I did care, I wouldn't waste my time talking about it on the radio. If I want to talk about politics, I'll go to a cocktail party. I'm not going to do it here. But uh, in this $674 billion tax cut plan of the president, there is one thing you might want to know about. 
with one element of this that um, might actually uh, get your attention. The president supposedly to stimulate the economy, although really I think it's to buy votes in the next election, wants to increase the annual child tax credit from the current $600 per child to $1,000 a child. That's right. And by the way, it would be like retroactive. So this uh, increase... Think, think about this for a second. If you don't have kids, or maybe you don't have them yet. Maybe you're going to have them in 10 years, all right? But think about this, okay? Uh, be, because it's retroactive, there's like a $400 increase, right? What they're going to do if this is approved, they want to take a $400 check and mail it to every, for every family, for every, for 400 per child to every family in the United States. That's what they want to do. So anybody's got three kids, you'd get a check for twelve hundred bucks in the mail, courtesy of your president, to stimulate the economy. Now I'm going to tell you what I, why I have a problem with this. If you don't already know, if you haven't figured it out, okay, I, it's no secret to regular listeners of this show that I am child free. And have remained child free by choice. It has been uh, no small amount of planning over the years uh, to remain child free. And I am still at 46 years old. I'm child free. I don't have any. I haven't wanted any. And I'll tell you something else. To my knowledge, so far, there's no Tom Likas Jr. running around. Far as I know. Because you'd have think they'd have hit me up by now. <laughs> maybe it's all the warnings on the air not to come knocking at my door maybe that's why but no no kids i haven't got them and so um here is essentially what is happening the government in order to stimulate the economy is going to take money out of my paycheck and mail it to people who have children it's that simple Believe me, I pay more taxes than you probably make in a year, okay? And they're going to take money out of my paycheck and send it to people with children. Now, for those of you out there who oppose, I don't know, communism, <laughs> why, why is it fair to do that? If, Of course, I don't live next door to anybody who makes as much money as I do, okay? But let's say I did. If the person next door had three kids and I have none, I'm going to pay $3,000 more in taxes than the guy next door. Because he gets a $3,000 tax credit and I don't. And what for? Tax credits are supposed to be given to people for doing things they don't want to do. For example, there's something called sweat equity, you know, where... Uh, they will go to individuals who buy houses in ghetto areas or they'll go to companies that want to build a, a factory in a ghetto area. And they'll say, all right, look, this is a terrible area. Crime rate is high. Unemployment is high. Alcoholism rate is high. Drug addiction rate is high. Rape uh, rate is high. Whatever. Uh, if you build a factory in the middle of the ghetto, we won't charge you any taxes. And so all the companies that would rather build, you know, in Connecticut or Orange County, they build in, you know, Harlem or the Bronx or uh, Compton or Watts. I mean, that, that's what they do. And they get a tax credit. But it makes sense. You give a company or an individual a tax credit to do something that they wouldn't do anyway. And that in some way might benefit society. But can I tell you something? People are going to have kids anyway. If only by accident. They're going to have kids anyway. How many of you out there, and I want you to look your children in the eye and say this to them if it's true. Okay. How many of you out there have had children because you get a tax credit? Or because you get a tax exemption? By the way, I might add, the tax credit is on top of an exemption you get for every member of your family. That That is on top of it. So, like, if your family is two members, you get two exemptions. Like, if it's you and your wife, okay? 
And then if you have a kid, now you get three exemptions. If you have another kid, you get four exemptions. And it goes on like that. So you get the exemptions, plus you get a tax credit for having a child, plus you get child care credits. I mean, you get all of these benefits for having children. How many of you had a kid because they have tax benefits attached to them? Now, honestly, if you did it for that reason, you owe it to your child to go to them and say, you know what, you're nothing but a tax benefit to me. I didn't have you because, and, and of course you know this is ridiculous. People are going to have children whether there are tax benefits or not. In fact, if we tax children, if we made people pay a tax for all the services that children use, right, schools, uh, vaccinations, school lunch programs, drug addiction, uh, education, and whatever. If we charge people a tax for having children, they'd still have children anyway. So what I want to understand is, why in the world should we agree to let people with children get $1,000 for each child every year? Why? And why should people who don't have children pay for those who do? Some like it. 1-800-5800. You hurt a lot of people with your advice. Who am I hurting? You hurt a lot of people that call in and say, hey, you know what? Try this. They said, oh, yeah, just get the booty and the money. The Dumb Like It Show. The Dumb Like It Show. one 800 Thank you for tuning in. Adam, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Adam. How you doing? Do you care? Yes, I do. Doing great. Um, basically, what I wanted to say is that people who I work with, a lot of are married women, they're saying people like me who've never been married, never have children, are selfish. Meanwhile, ah. I'm getting taxed for them to have kids. Right. You, you might as well just take a thousand out of your pocket right now and send it to your neighbor as a kid. I know. It's pathetic. And... Basically, when it's 4.45 and they're ready to leave, they're ready to take their kids to baseball practice, whatever, mm -hmm. I'm still at work, sometimes 8, 9 o'clock at night. Right. It's, it's not fair. It's, I don't believe they... It just doesn't that. make any sense. It doesn't. And and we should give easy. tax benefits to people to do things they wouldn't otherwise do. And they, How about we give people a tax credit for having a vasectomy, for example? <laughs> I don't know. It's... It's pathetic. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, this is Paul on a cell phone. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tommy boy. Paul, baby. You got me all fired up, guy. Do tell me why. Well, because I just got my last paycheck for the end of the year. I looked at how much I made, and then I looked at how much I lost. I mean, we're talking close, close to half my paycheck. Mm-hmm. Half my paycheck to taxes. Yep. I'm sick of it. Not counting what you pay them. If you own a house, you pay property taxes, you pay more than that. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. I own a house, and now they want to take money and give it to some people that have kids. Guess what? If you, if you have kids and you can't afford to pay for them, don't have them. Yeah, but the, the point is people would have kids anyway. Unbelievable. I don't know. I'm, you just got me all fired up. I have to call. I'm very angry. And, of course, all of talk radio, you know, it's one Republican, one conservative after another. I, I don't belong to a political party. I don't give a rat's ass. But the, the, all these guys are going to be on the air telling you how great this is and how wonderful this is. And it's a load of crap. Anybody who doesn't have a kid is going to have to pay for those who do. Oh, man, maybe I should start voting. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to vent a little bit. And the uh, other thing is, New York doesn't suck. I'm from New York. Thank you, Paul. All right. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Jason on a cell phone. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Jason. Jason Albuquerque, how are you? Good. Uh, I do care, but uh, all right, you already answered. Um, I don't know. Uh, any, it seems like, uh, again, I don't know the exact details of this plan, so I'm kind of talking out of Well, I told you very specifically. I read it to you right out of the Los Angeles Times. Well, no, right whatever. now, people who have children get $600 Per, I'm sorry, uh, yes, yeah, $600 per child. A right, tax they credit. Raising, it, they want to raise that now to $1,000. Uh, right, but are they raising like taxes for on a certain segment of the population to pay these, uh, these tax credits? No, they're, cut, they're cutting benefits to other people uh, in order to pay for this. And by the way, I, if I live next, let's say I live next door to you and we make the same salary and you've got three kids, you pay $3,000 in taxes less than I do. Why? 
Well, I likely spend more money in the economy than you do. No, you I don't. When's the last time you went to the Napa Valley on vacation? When's the last time you went to Maui? And when's the last time you went to Key West, spent $425 a night on a hotel room? You know what? Don't kid yourself. Just because I don't have kids doesn't mean I don't spend money. No, I don't mean it that way, but I mean like the average Joe, middle class, the majority of taxpayers in America. What about them? You know, they generally have kids. Compared People to who don't have kids spend money, too. We just no, don't not... spend it on what you spend it on. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if the majority of taxpayers have kids, then you're right. He's pandering to the big lump. In the but that's exactly period. what's happened. Most people, most couples have kids. And so it's essentially a big political payoff to people with children, paid for by the people who don't have children. Well, yeah, that's, uh, well, again, if they're not raising taxes somewhere else, I think taxes... Well, the point is, if you get $3,000 or 2000 or 1000 uh, back more than I do, I'm paying for it. <laughs> okay, I, I guess you could uh, somehow put that on a... Yeah, not somehow. That's the fact. If I, have, if I pay more in taxes than you and I make the same money... <laughs> you you pay less in taxes because you've got kids. That means I subsidized it, and I resent that. All right. Well, can't argue with that. I know. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. This is uh, Bob on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Today? All right, Bob. Hey, Tom. I tell you, I, most times I even when I don't agree with you, you usually sway me. Not this time. Uh, I'm a single parent. And uh, tell you what, you look at what I pay for in school clothes, in food bill, and things like that, because I have a kid, I do pump more into the local economy. No, you don't. Uh, oh, no, I you do. don't. No, I you do. don't. No, no, you don't. I spend, money, I spend money, money, too. Stock market and make yourself richer. I don't. I also spend, I spend money on my car. I spend money on vacations. I spend money. I spend money on my car, too. I spend it on vacations, I spend all kinds of money, and I spend money in America. I, by the way, I'm hardly ever out of the country. I spend the vast majority. I spend three weeks in Florida. I, I spend most of my money in the United States. So do I. I spend more than you make. That's because you make more than I make. I make more because I didn't have kids and that would gum up my life and make it impossible for me to have a lucrative career. If you and I had comparable incomes and I had children, I guarantee you anything, I spend more money. In Absolutely your not. Absolutely not. I spend it on myself. That's the difference between yeah, me and you. you Even if we I made the same money. I... Investing in no. I, I, but, 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 like the that. point is, why aren't you putting money in the stock market? How are you going to put your kids through college? How are you going to put your kids, uh, how are you going to take care of your children? In savings. In savings. And sa so what does it matter whether you put the savings in a bank or the stock market? Because, first of all, I'm putting more money into the local economy in terms of clothes, in terms of food, and things like that. No, you're not. The difference is rich people, the the different people without children, spend it on themselves. Don't you understand that, you know, while, while you're staying home with your kids because you can't afford to go on vacation, spending money on back-to-school clothes, people without children are going off on vacations to, like I do, to the Napa Valley, a weekend in San Francisco, all the things you can't do. We're spending money on that I have this idea that you put more money in the economy i dare you to prove that spending money on cds and stuff for their own retirement making themselves richer which i don't oh please and, and, and look you resent rich people too it's just amazing the tom like his show this is the tom like his show oh yeah one 800 800 john thank you for tuning in it's Tom on a cell phone. You're on the top like a show. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, well, my point is this. Okay, I see uh, my dad and his brother and sister are all kind of in the same boat, and maybe this is an exception to your rule that you're discussing now, but maybe it's uh, more frequent than you think. If they didn't have kids, then all the money... That well, wait, wait, wait. Stop. Made... Before you go to the rest of your example... Yes. People are going to have kids whether or not there's a tax credit. Don't you agree? Yes. So who cares about what would happen if they didn't? Why does it even matter? Well, because the situation already exists, and if help isn't given to them, then they'll never... But the point is, you know, this tax credit 10 years ago didn't exist at all. All right, but... It's, it's, this is not something that's been going on for 100 years. This is brand new. 
Yeah, but it's it's very politically popular to. It's but to that's my point. Well, you know why it would be politically popular if we said let's take a thousand dollars from anybody who's single and give it to people who are married. Let's take a thousand dollars from everybody who is a Democrat and give it to the Republicans. Let's take a thousand dollars. I mean, come on, because it's politically popular doesn't make it right. It's wrong. Well, I agree with you there. And as a single guy without kids, I'd I'd love for. Uh... You know, there to be less going to, uh, you know, the people who are in a different situation than me. However, if they're not... Children eat up health, services. They, uh, they go to school. They get vaccinated for free. They get subsidized school lunches. They get all kinds of benefits. They get scholarships. They get grants. They, uh, I mean, come on, the list goes on. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to disagree with you there. So yeah, why should I'm you pay for it? Talking to you with uh, t like is one hundred and one on Thursday. How's that? All right. Well, I like that, Tom. Thank you. Come on, think about this, uh, Herman. On a cell phone, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. Herman. Hey, love you, man. But uh, but families spend more. Bottom line. No, no, families don't spend more. Yeah, they In fact, uh, let me tell you something. I, I want to make this real clear to you. Sure. The reason I'm rich. Right. The reason I have all this money is because I didn't have children screwing up my life, keeping and me... And more time to devote to your career. That's right. That's why I'm rich. Right. And so now the uh, attitude of people in government is because I'm successful, and I am successful because I didn't have children, they're going to penalize me and make me pay for the other people who didn't take the risks I took, who didn't work as hard as I did. And they're going to give my money to them. Well, Tom, question is, how many single people are there out there, and how many families are out there? But that is irrelevant. That doesn't make it right. Why don't we give them $10,000? Why don't we give them $100,000? I mean, what makes this right? Well, what makes this right is families spend more money. You say that... Families you don't out. spend more money. I, I, as I said, I paid more well, in taxes than you made this year. Well, no, I, I pay more taxes, too. I mean, I'm, I'm in that upper echelon. Mm -hmm. I get hit big time, and... Uh, Basically, when I was single, I was, I had more money in my pocket. But now that I have a family, I have less. Oh money come on! And you didn't drive a nice money. car when you were single. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did. Uh, did. Did you spend money on that? Huh? And the maintenance of it. I did. And did you go on vacation and meet chicks? Well, the thing is, I went on vacation, right? But it's like, like you said, like Napa, you go to high-end places. But now I'm going to places like Disney World. Hey, where me, my pal, oh, don't start on Disney World, people. pal. I was just in Disney World. Right. And even though it's $50 a person per day to go to the theme parks at Disney World, right. uh, the fact is Napa Valley, a room, is $450 a night. Yeah, but and, and then working at Napa instead Valley. of eating, and by the way, at night, instead of eating at Chili's, or, I was just in Orlando. I was just there. So I know what I'm talking about. At night in Orlando, you eat at Chili's or Coco's or Flanagan's or Bennigan's. And at night in the Napa Valley, you are eating at world-class five-star restaurants where you pay three or $400 a meal. I mean, we had dinner one night at Tony Roma's. That was the best restaurant in town. Well, how many people are working at Tony Romas and how many people are working at Napa Valley Restaurant? What does that have to do with anything? Because it's affecting more income. What do you so mean like it's, you affecting, more, it's it affecting more income? Why? I'm, if I spend $400 on dinner instead of 40 how are you telling me that the $40 is helping the economy more than the $400? Because it's, it's going into businesses that employ more people, so they're getting their... Well, first of all, first of all, first of all, just because there's ten thousand locations or whatever of Tony Romas, right. it doesn't. The fact is, in a restaurant where I go, there are no more employees at Tony Romas than there are at Trevinia in the Napa Valley. There aren't. Trevinia? Yeah. As an example. I think there are, and they have more. They have more shifts. Uh, please. Oh, uh, you, know, you know, you know what? If you want to call up and you've got a, le a legitimate argument, fine. Don't start with this crap that a five-star restaurant in the Napa Valley uh, employs less people than than a, a particular location of Tony Roma's. J j don't even call me. Don't even call me up. Hang up the phone now if you're planning on saying some asinine thing like that. And, and I want to clarify this, and I want to make this really clear. I'm getting really tired of people who call up here and use how much money I make as the reason why I should be handing it out to all these various groups. 
Now, by, by the way, I'm not one of these conservative morons, all right? I believe in the school system, and I believe in unemployment benefits, and I believe in welfare for people who legitimately need a break. I believe me. <laughs> I'm not one of those morons. I'm not. But what I have a problem with is people who think that I should just be handing my money out to families with children or handing you know, you know what and, and they get and they they get upset that I have money. Here's why I have money. Because while you were marrying your high school sweetheart who knocked up after the prom, uh, I was out there working my ass off trying to come up with a successful career. I have been employed since I was 12 years old and I worked for my father. 14, I worked at my first radio station. 16, I left home and I had to work and go to school full time. And then I went on the road and worked in various cities you wouldn't be caught dead in, like Stanton, Virginia. You wouldn't be caught dead in Stanton, Virginia. Maybe you would be, I don't know, but you certainly wouldn't be caught alive there. I, I had to go there, and while you were having, you know, you were there you were, 25 years old, and having dinner with your three children that you have when you were 25, me, I was sitting alone by myself on Thanksgiving and Christmas, sitting there spinning records, playing them on a radio station nobody was listening to, and building up an act, and building up a career. And the reason I have money today is because unlike you morons who want to get married at 18 and 19 who call in here all the time, uh, I, I, I was smart and I worked hard and I did not have children and I did not mess up my life with all that crap going on, all that drama going on, all that responsibility. I focused it all on having a successful career. I have a successful career today because when I was 25, I didn't have children like so many people. Now, fact is, did I give up something along the way? Sure I did. Married and divorced four times. My family doesn't talk to me. A lot of things happen because I was on the road moving around, stuff like that. So believe me, I paid for it. There's no free lunch. But after I took the risks, after I worked hard, after I had to give up a lot of things in life to get what I have, it's hardly fair that you sat on your ass making $23,000 a year and popping out kids that I should then have to forward part of my paycheck to you. It's just not fair. And it's not just somebody with money. I mean, this goes for anybody who doesn't have kids. But in my particular case, you know what? If you wanted to do what I did, if you wanted to be successful at what I did, you could have done it. You didn't choose to do that. Yeah, many of you boys out there, and I've talked to you, and I know you all very, very well. Many of you married the first girl who screwed you. And you know that's true. Well, you married the first girl you knocked up. You, you took no control over your own life. And I resent it when people like you call in here and give me a hard time for being rich. You know what? If you'd given it an ounce of thought instead of thinking with the small head boys, you would not be out there calling in resentful of me for what I've accomplished in my life. You wouldn't be. So calling in here and telling me, well, I'm rich, so therefore I can afford it. You know, you know, you sound like my family. You sound just like it. You're rich. You can afford it. Sure, we should send $1,000 to everybody every, for per child to everybody in America. Oh, yeah. Sure. Let's make it $2,000. let us make it $10,000. let us make it $50,000. Who cares? People like me can afford it. Tough luck. It's amazing. <laughs> Tom Likey's like show. Fred, hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? 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 Your time is up. You reached the three hello limit on the Tom Likey's show. Sorry. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Dirk on the Tom Likey's show. Hello. Tom, how are you, sir? Great. Listen, you rarely are wrong, but you missed on this one. How? Well, I'm 47 also. Uh, you're I'm not 47. I'm 46. I'm 47. I have four children. You have none. I'm only paying... By, des by design, by the way. Yes. I, I, get, I get this alleged tax deduction, whatever, meager... It's not an alleged tax deduction. This is not a tax deduction. This is a credit. This Fine, is cash to your pocket. I get, I get cash to my pocket for 25 years. The rest of my life, I pay just like you do. 
And not only that, but I produced four children who are going to pay into the system for 60 years, which is long after you're dead and gone. But they're also going to use services. You know what? People who pay into the system also use services. Yeah, but you, you pay... That's more, more people on the freeway, more people on the buses and subways, more people using up schools and scholarships and grants and vaccinations. I mean, come on. The fact that you have put people into the economy, it just means they're going to spend and they're also going to, to cost us money. You, you pay in more than you use. And my children, if I raise them responsibly, are going to pay in more than they use also. Now, you want to say there's children out there who, who, who are raised by families and, they, and they, they're a drag on the system? You would have had children whether or not we gave you a tax incentive to do so. Doesn't matter. that they're going to. Why should we give you anything? You tell me why I should take money out of my pocket and give it to you. Because my kids will be there paying into that system for for, for well, long why stop at a thousand? Why not make it ten thousand a child or fifty thousand a child? Well, they, they, they apparently they, don't, they can't get by with that little bit of money, but whatever they give. Oh, me so now, you think that would be fair? How much? We, how much do you think would be fair per child for us to to subsidize you like a communist country? How much do you think we ought to pay? You're greatly mistaken if you think there's any fairness involved in the tax system at all. I don't think there's any fairness, but this is making it even more unfair. Nah. Just because one thing is unfair doesn't mean everything should be. You use your Lexus for business and you write it off. No, I don't. Right. You are wrong. I don't. Well, you have some My tax that. return is public record. You check on that. Well, I, don't, I don't claim one single mile of driving my Lexus. Then you're the exception. You're not the norm. I don't care what the norm is. Don't uh, start accusing me of things. You know nothing about me. I know my kids are going to pay into the system long after. So what? They will also use up services. They will no. use things up. Are you kidding me? They will use up workman's compensation. They will use up unemployment benefits. They will use up school grants and scholarships. They get a Pell Grant at college. They'll be doing all kinds of things. They will make money and spend money, like anybody else in the economy. And just like you... Having more build... people in the economy is not necessarily good for the economy. China's got over a billion people. Is their economy better than our economy? If I raise responsibility... Having people over, doesn't make the economy better. They'll pay in, just like you did, more than you received. Hold on a second. This is Scott. Scott, what did you want to say to Dirk here? Hey, what is your name, Dirk? Yeah. All right. How much sense does this make? If I walk into, like, a convenience store, I get a soda. At the same time, a mother and her child walks into a convenience store. She gets a soda, gets some milk for her child, right? She leaves. She pays for the soda she got for herself. She doesn't pay for the milk. I leave. I pay for the soda, and I'm also charged for the milk. Does that make sense? You know, we live in a society where we have to we pay taxes based upon the good of the common whole, and you're completely ignoring the good of the common whole, not the single individual that walks into the market. You're you would have had the children way. anyway, and that's the point. This is not giving the society anything good. It wouldn't have gotten anyway without paying you a penny. They're right? going to pay into the society. You would have had four kids either way. So why should we give you exactly. an incentive to do it? Exactly. Because they're going to pay into the system for 60 years. Why should years we pay you? Aren't. Fine, they're also going to use services. So what? They're going to pay in more than they use. <laughs> How do you know that? Because I raise responsible children. Oh, please. So what if one of them hit by a bus? You never know. And they're also going to get the same credit for their children that you're getting right now that you shouldn't be getting from us who don't have children. And it doesn't that. make any sense. Why should I, whether it's five cents, whether it's ten grand, because you have a child, why should I give you any money, a red cent, for your child to go to school in our free schools. Because, Why should I give you money? Because when Tom was growing up and he was a young kid, there were people without kids paying for his life, too. Hey, guess what? I don't yeah. even mind paying for public schools. I think public schools are a good thing. But I, I don't want to give you credit to send your kids to a private school. And I don't want to give you money so you can uh, go buy clothing for your kids or food for your kids. You know what? If you can't afford kids, you shouldn't be having them. But why should the rest of us pay so you can have kids? It's outrageous. And that's the other thing. If you had a tax increase for per child, you know, maybe people would start thinking about, you know, and planning more before they had children to be able to raise them better and be able to take care of them and not have society take care of them. Society doesn't pay for my children. I pay for my children, and my there's children are a lot, there's, there's thousands and thousands of kids out there that are that are using public resources the government pays for, whatever else that my money goes into. Yet the parents are getting a tax credit for it. This, All I'm saying is, if you increase it and you make it a tax increase per child, it's going to make people think more. It's going to make people plan more. All right, Scott Dirk, thank you for the call. Tom Likas, one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. I banged my girlfriend in the A, and she was passed out drunk. That's terrible. You didn't get any enjoyment out of this, did you? Oh, oh, me? Oh, oh, heavens no, heavens no. Of course, I didn't take any pictures of that either. It's the Tom Likas show. The 
Tom Likas Show. I'm 1 800 5800 Tom. Corinda, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, I totally agree with you 100%. I'm, um, uh, I'm engaged. My fiance is in the military, and we don't plan to have children. But I don't think it's right that we have to pay more, you know, for somebody else's. Uh, children. That's I, to me. That's just not right, and I totally agree with you, hundred mm-hmm. percent. Yeah, it's uh, amazing the uh, entitlement that people feel they have. Oh, I know, and and for people calling in and being so upset and saying that they do spend more money with having children, I don't agree with that. But even if they did, that's what comes with having children. If you want to, if you want to have children, you're going to be spending a lot more money. Uh, Absolutely. Corinda, thanks for the call. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.